Hello, this is Mrs. Ludula from New Canaan High School, and I want to show you how to log on to the Library in Moodle for the very first time. So, um, we are going to start at www.nchslmc.org at the Library Media webpage. We're going to click on the left navigation bar under Moodle and 2.0 stuff. We are going to choose Library Moodle page. Instead of clicking on it or even right clicking on it, you can tap the scroll button to open that in a new tab. That's assuming you have a mouse. If you don't have a mouse, you can right click on Library Moodle page and choose Open Link in New Tab. But let's go to the Mo Library Moodle. Here we are at the sign in page for the Moodle, and we are going to enter our same username and password that we use to log into the computer at school. And this will bring you to the registration page. So you have to change your first name to your first name. And your surname means last name. So in my case, that would be Lutula. Your email address is important. You can leave this blank, this untouched. You can leave this untouched. Your town is New Canaan. Your country is the United States. The server's local time is GMT minus five. And for your description, I would put in your year of graduation, not that I'm graduating in 2009, but my daughter is, so I'll settle for that. I would like you to choose a picture, and you can put your description of your picture. And you can update your profile. And ta-da, you're officially registered now. Now your job is to go find the correct Moodle class or course that you want to work in. So you're going to go to NCPS and you can look under Library Media Center and you can choose Library Moodle or Library Moodle Semester 2, your choice, but we're going to choose Library Moodle for today. Now, when you open the Moodle page on a computer at school, this is about as much as you're going to see. The first thing you need to do is click on Enroll Me in this course. And the enrollment key for the library Moodle is, you got it, library. Enroll Me in this course. And now you see it doesn't say Enroll Me in this course over here, so that's good. And you are going to... Now the next thing you need to do is you have basically, we have like almost 50 different topics here, which are basically projects that we're running through the library. So you want to simplify this by pulling this blue scroll bar over to the right until you see this white rectangle. When you see the white rectangle, click on it. Great. Now you've eliminated all of that, all of those 50 boxes or topics or projects underneath, and now you have a jump to menu. And here are the open projects that we have in the library at this time. Choose your project from the drop down menu. Let's say we're going to go with Industrial Revolution for now. And there you have it. These are the instructions you have for your project. Now we'll usually cover something like books, keywords, databases, information for the bibliography, and most importantly, really honestly, most importantly, are the forum. Okay, here's a forum for the Industrial Revolution. And within the Industrial Revolutionary Forum, we have research and bibliographies. And this is where you would post any questions you have for a librarian. So the way to post is you click on reply and you can say, how do I cite an article in SIRS decades, for example? And you post it to the forum and it will get there within, and there it is. So there's a question. Now, the cool thing about this is it's going to come into the library, posting librarian's email. 
So automatically by posting this question, it's come into my email and we now know that we have, we owe you an answer and we will answer you within 24 hours um, on if it's a school day or 72 hours on a weekend. And if it's vacation time, uh, there's a really good chance we're not gonna answer you at all. Okay, so let's go back to NCHS LMC. Here we are back to this. So this is basically just a sample of the kind of information we're gonna put in there. Another thing we have in the forum is a place to share tips and resources with your classmates. And if you come here and you post a reply saying, try the search term impoverished um, and post that to the forum. Now for the next person who's coming through and looking at this forum, then they might want to look at that and then you say, oh gee, I'll try that search term. And that way you have contributed to the knowledge of your classmates and not only your classmates, but also this project is going to stay up until next year when we make revisions, but the forum will stay active. And that's one of the things that you have to offer as a community member at New Canaan High School is you can actually contribute to not only your classmates who are in this project now, but also a growing body of knowledge that we can build on as the years progress. So that's really the beauty of the library Moodle is that you guys are now contributors and collaborators on this larger body of knowledge, but your insight is just as valuable as ours. And it's, um, I, I think this is going to be really effective. We're really looking forward to using this um, over, you know, for the foreseeable future until the next big technology comes along. All right. Thanks a lot for listening and we'll talk to you soon.